Database reactivation is where you take a business's old customers and you reactivate them, bringing them back into the door of the business, making the business more money. In this video, I'm gonna show you all exactly how to execute this and set up a snapshot for it using the high level software. There are two ways we can do database reactivation. The first way is taking a list of old customers that have come in and worked with a business in the past, and then we can reactivate them, giving them some sort of discount offer to come back in the door and be a repeat customer of the business. And then the second way is to reactivate them and ask old customers for Google reviews, which is another great way to help businesses build their local reputation because we can get them ranked higher on Google Maps if they have more Google reviews. So both ways are very great ways to help build a local business, either just getting them a quick spike of revenue back in the door from old customers or getting them more Google reviews. And so I'm gonna show you guys both ways that I have it set up in this snapshot. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I'll show you how to get this snapshot for free. Um, but you can also watch this to see how I have everything set up and it'll also be useful to know how it works. But basically, uh, we have a couple different automations here, uh, just three basic ones for this snapshot. The first one is for that discount deal. So if we wanna reactivate old customers, we can get them um, back in the door with some sort of discount. And so this one is triggered off by a tag being added. So we have this discount deal tag and I'll show you how this tag is added, but basically you can add this tag in bulk to a thousand leads at a time or a thousand previous customers if this business has a huge list of previous customers that have come in. And those customers first, you'll need to get them onto a CSV or an Excel file. So your customer will have to send you that CSV or Excel file with all the names, emails, and phone numbers, or if they just have names and emails or names and phone numbers, that works as well. Um, but you'll have to get that list from them. It's gonna be like an Excel or a CSV file. And then you can import that list right here by clicking import contact. You can upload the list and then you can click next and then it'll have you map the fields. It's pretty simple to import that list right here. Once you've imported them though, all their leads will show up here under the contacts tab, names, emails, phone numbers, and whatever other data you have on those leads, but preferably just name, email, and phone number because that's easiest to work with. Once we've imported those leads, we can then select all of them. Let me just create one really quick so I can show you kind of what it will look like. I'll just add one for myself and then I'll just put in like my phone number and then I'll go ahead and click save. So your leads will show up like this. Mine has not showed up yet. Let me click out of here and back in. There we go. So they'll show up one on top of another. So I've just created one so far. This is myself. And so you'll be able to check this select this box right here and it'll select all the leads. And then next to it, it'll say, if you wanna select all like 1000, it'll select a page at a time, but you can select all of the leads. If you click the little blue text that'll pop up right here, like select all 1000 or 2000 or however many leads there are, it'll say the number and you can select all of them. And then you can add that tag. So for this first automation, we have a tag called discount deal. And so we could just do like, we could just call this one like discount. And then today's date, we could do like eight, five, 24. So we know when we tag these people and we can select that discount deal tag from our tags right here. So we have that discount deal tag and then we'll hit, click add tag and then it will tag all of, you know, thousand, two thousand of our previous customers with this tag and send them through this automation that I was just showing you. So that's the trigger event. That's how to trigger off this database reactivation campaign. And then we have a text message that'll send to our lead. It'll say, hey, John, we're doing a 50% off all of our services this week and the offer ends in seven days. Just show us the code below after your appointment to receive the discount. And then we send the code right here. So we're just straight up giving them a code where they can get a discount and the discount code is discount 50. You can book any of our services by calling us at this number that we're texting you from or booking through our website link below. And then we paste in the number or the, the website link booking page right here. It'll paste in the website.com backslash booking. And then it signs off with the name of the business at the bottom. So that's our first. And then the second one is this email and it says, Hey, John, we're doing 50% off all services this week. And the offer ends in seven days. Just show us the code below it says the, basically the same thing as the text message. And then we wait three days and three days later, the discount deal is still going on. It's seven days, right? So now it's four days until the end of the discount. And then we say, hey, just four days left, blah, 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 saying the same thing, sending them the code again. Then we send an email saying the same thing, you know, four days left on the 50% off offer. And then we wait three days, which would land us at one day before. So we waited four days. Now we're waiting three days. And so it's basically the last day and we're gonna send one more text and we're gonna say, hey, there's one day left, claim the 50% off our services, blah, blah, blah. And then you know, here's the code. And then we send them that message. And then we also send them an email saying the same thing. And then we'll leave it at that. Now you might be thinking, hey, what if they claim the code 
and they book an appointment, we don't want to keep hitting them up with these texts. And so that's where we would have a calendar set up inside of our sub account. And so if we have that calendar system built out where people can book, um, it looks like I've got this one, it's called Tea Time. Let me rename it real quick and we'll just call it, cause this could be any type of business. I have this one for a golf course, but we could just say appointments and we will just name it that. All right, so now we've got this calendar set up, but basically any time somebody if they do book that appointment and we book them in through our calendar or they book in through our website, which will have our calendar on it, then it will remove them from this automation. And all we have to do to do that is select here, create an automation. This was going to be like our appointment booking automation. So I'll just name it appointments. The trigger event will be appointment status is normal. Appointment uh, or status is new and then in calendar, and then we'll select that appointments calendar. So anytime somebody books, we just need to make sure the beginning of this automation has remove from all workflows and then turn this off. We don't wanna remove them from this one, but we wanna remove them from all the other workflows. And so as long as you have this step at the beginning, at any time they book on our calendar or we book them in on our end, if they call in and say, hey, I saw this discount offer, I wanna book in. If we book them in through our calendar, it'll remove them make sure to publish this one and save this one. It'll remove them from this automation because at any time they book through the links that we're sending them, this uh, website booking link, it'll then remove them because we have that step at the beginning of the automation. So anyway, that's really important. Just make sure you have that calendar set up so that it removes them whenever they book uh, through this link here or they call us in and we book them in. Either way, it'll remove them from the automation. So that's our first one. Um, and then our next one is going to be a Google reviews discount if they leave us a Google review. So this one is gonna be sent out to all of our previous customers that have come in and purchased our services or worked with us in the past. This one also is, tr is triggered off by a tag. We have a Google review request tag. And so once we tag all of our leads, just like we did on the other one, we'll select all of them from the contacts. We'll tag all of them. And then we can send this text message or it'll automatically send this text message saying, hey, John, we are doing a 50% off discount for anyone who leaves us a Google review this week. If you're interested, please go through the link below to leave the review, thanks. And this will send a link to a survey that we have built out. If you guys saw my previous video on YouTube about, about the uh, reputation management snapshot, you'll, you'll have that, but it's also gonna be in this snapshot here that I'm setting up. It's this survey, Google reviews survey. And if somebody... If we, we're basically sending them this the link to this survey. So it'll look like this. It'll say, how many stars would you rate our services? If they click one, two, or three, it'll then send them to a second part where they can you know, leave some notes in their first and last name, and then it submits the review internally. But if they select, let me go back out, preview it again. If they select four or five, then it'll automatically redirect them to our actual Google business page where they can leave a real review. So that's a great way to get only four and five star reviews for your clients doing this campaign. But basically we have this quick survey here, which if you're looking how to, on how to set this up, watch my reputation management uh, snapshot video, which I just posted a few days ago um, before this video. But basically that's our, that's our review that we're sending or our review survey that we're sending out in this automation right here for the Google reviews. And so just wanted to let you know what that link sends to right here. And then it signs off the name of the business. Then we send them an email saying the same thing, you know, subject line, leave us a review for 50% off your next visit. Hey, we're doing 50% off for anyone who leaves us a Google review this week. If you're interested, go through this. And then basically all they have to do when they go into the business is show them, hey, I left the review, I get the discount, awesome. And then they can give them the discount whenever they go to pay for the appointment that they had, whether it's a haircut or eyelashes or um, a pedicure, manicure, whatever the business is, right? And then if they don't, click our link here within three days, we have a wait step. So we're waiting for them to click our trigger link. So this link right here, our survey link is also a trigger link, which we have to set up in high level, which I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So I'll go back out. You'll find trigger links under the marketing tab, and then you'll go up to trigger links. So you can see I have this Google review survey trigger link created. So you'll just click add link. You'll call it Google review survey, and then you'll paste in the link to your survey that you've created or that you got through my snapshot, which is right here. I'll show you how to grab that. That's gonna be under sites, surveys, go to your Google review survey, click integrate, find the link right here and then copy this link. So this is our survey link right here. You'll copy that. Then we'll go back out of here, go back to marketing, trigger links, 
and then you'll paste that in to your trigger link right here in the second line and then click save. So now our survey, when somebody clicks on it, we can have other automations that fire off based on if they click it or not within a certain amount of time. So that's how that automation right here works where we're gonna wait three days. If they click the trigger link, awesome. That means they've gone to our survey and at least checked it out and potentially left their Google review. It's kind of hard to fully track what happens after they click because we can't really track if they actually left the Google review or not because that happens outside of Go High Level, but we can track if they clicked the link right here in our text message or the link right here in our email. So if they click that link to go to our survey, that means they likely are gonna leave the review, whether it's positive or negative. So we're waiting, if they click the trigger link, which then sends to this condition, if it was clicked, that's how we set it up here, trigger link is clicked. So we go here, we go to events, trigger link is, and then the Google review survey trigger link that we just created. And then we also have this branch, which is not clicked. So we don't really have to set anything up here because if nothing happens, that means they didn't click it. And so we have these two branches that come off from here. If they clicked it, awesome. We don't want to keep hitting them up and asking them for a Google review if they've already clicked on the survey link. But if they haven't, within three days, we will then follow up and send another text message and say, hey, John, we're doing a 50% off discount for anyone who leaves us a Google review this week. The offer ends in three days. So now we've waited three days. Now there's only three days left on the deal. If you're interested, please go through the link below to leave us a review. So it basically says the same thing. Now it's just telling them, hey, there's only three days left instead of seven. And then we have this email that says the same thing. Offer ends soon, you know, offer ends in three days. If you're interested, go through the link and we'll send it to them again. That's usually where I'll leave that one. You could repeat this again and have another wait step of a day and send like one day before the offer ends if you wanted to. But I usually just want to text them and email them twice. You don't want to be too, too uh, buggy and like you don't want to annoy them. But just following up two times with them. Maybe they didn't see the first message or the first email, but maybe they see it the second time and they leave the Google review. But if this business is a good business and they do good work, let's say they're a barbershop and they do really good haircuts, then if they have past customers that have come in before, the customer will be likely to, to give them a Google review, especially if you incentivize them with a 50% off discount on their next visit. That's a really good offer. And so typically you, that's, you need some sort of incentive in order to get people to make that uh, Google review and leave that review. Same thing with coming back in, we have that first automation. We need to give them some sort of incentive. 50% off is a good one. You could do less, but 50% off is really good. Let's say it's, let's say half off. If you do 25% off, you might not see as good results for your client. Another thing you could do is instead of 50% off, you could do a um, coupon or not a coupon, but a, a like a drawing to win a, sorry, I'm just going to delete this real quick. You could enter them into a drawing to win a $500 gift card or something like that. So you can say, hey, somebody, one person who leaves us a Google review this week will choose to win a $500 gift card. Just leave us a review to enter in. Um, same with this one. You could say anybody who books an appointment with us this week, if they uh, book an appointment in the next seven days, we'll enter you in to win a $500 Visa gift card. All you have to do is book an appointment to enter. So you can do it that way as well. Instead of just giving them a discount right off the rip, you could just say, hey, we're doing a drawing. One person will win a $500 gift card. Just make sure the drawing is actually good and you're giving away something good and valuable. Um, but yeah, that's how to set that up right here. And uh, one other thing you'll need to do is make sure you go down to settings, custom values, and then inside of the custom value section, you need to make sure to create a custom value called Google review survey link for this snapshot to work. But basically you'll just name it Google review survey link, just like I've named it here. You'll paste in the link to that survey. You should already have it copied if you've already gone through the first part, but if not, just go back here, go to sites, surveys, builder, click into the survey builder, this survey here, you'll click integrate, copy the link here, and then you'll go back in to the custom values. This is if you're using my snapshot, you'll need to make sure you have this custom value created or it won't the, the text and emails won't send the right thing. New Google review survey, type that in here, paste in your link to the survey and then hit create and it'll create this link. Um, basically this is pasted into all my automations that I just showed you. And so you need to make sure you have that set up. Now, one other thing, I have set up is if we go under settings or sites and then form form builder, we've got this 50% off discount form. This is something that doesn't really tie in necessarily to database reactivation, but it's a good thing to have on your website for your clients as a pop-up. And so we can create this pop-up that's like special discount, 50% off limited time offer. Um, you might be asking how I added this. I created this little uh, graphic in Canva and then I added it by clicking here, scroll down to the bottom, drag this image block right here to the very top of the form. And then I selected that file from my computer and then boom, it'll populate just like that. And then down here, 
for our different fields. Uh, we went under options and then we did like a single line. So it puts each block, like full name, email, phone number next to each other. And then we just drag those on, you know, full name right here up the top left, email and then phone number. So, and then submit. And then we have this little disclaimer right here. We will text you your coupon code. Um, so that means they'll put, hopefully put a real phone number. A lot of times you get bad phone numbers if you don't let people know how you're gonna be texting them. So just say, we will text you your coupon code. So that makes sure that they'll put a good phone number in right here and they can click submit. So we have this form and you can put this as a pop-up, excuse me, on your website. And so let me just grab a website really quick. I don't have any under this sub account. So I'm gonna import one in from another sub account. We'll just switch into, I don't know, our golf course snapshot and we can create a pop-up. So I'm just gonna go to my golf course sub account. I'm gonna transfer over. We're gonna clone this website, golf course template copy, and then we'll paste it into our database reactivation sub account and then confirm. So I'm just moving that website over so I can show you guys how to create this pop-up, but it's a great way to, you know, hey, get 50% off your first tee time with us or something like that. And so we can go down back to our database reactivation sub account. Now I've got our golf course template here and we can just go to the home page, click into it, and then we'll bring up the website editor. And then up at the top left, uh, we can click pop-up settings. We can click add row, single column, add element, and then we can add that form. And it's gonna be our 50% off discount form. And then it'll pop up just like this and it'll look like this. And then we can, um, if we click save here, we can show how it pops up in the settings of the form. So if we go back to form, form builder right here. And then if we go to integrate, then we can say show on scrolling. So if we want them to scroll down the homepage of the website at like 5% and then it pops up, um, you could say activate on, you know, how like their second visit, their first visit. Um, but basically we want this form to pop up. So we're just going to leave the settings right here. Um, we'll, we'll actually, we'll do de deactivate after or activate on probably just their first visit. And then we'll select that one, click done, save, go back out of here, go back to our website, make sure it's all set up right. But this one will be good just to gather, start gathering names, emails, and phone numbers, even if they don't book right away and use the discount, it's just a great way, a great thing to have here on the website. For some reason it's getting cut off there. We'll just click add element again, forms. There we go. And then we can click pop-up settings right here too. And then we can say, it says show pop-up on exit. Um, we'll just do delay of like, I don't know, five seconds. So after five seconds, the pop-up will come up and it'll only work on the first time they come to the website, it won't pop up again. So it won't keep annoying them or anything like that. And then we can click save. So then when we preview this after five seconds, this pop-up should come up on our website. I'll just do a quick preview. So count one, two, three, four, five, and then boom, our pop-up comes up and then somebody can fill in their name, get the discount or click X if they don't want to. So that's how those pop-ups work. And uh, just another great way to keep collecting people's information um, and just another good offer that kind of ties in with our database reactivation offer that we've been talking about in this video. I appreciate y'all a ton for staying tuned to the end of this video. If you want the database reactivation snapshot that I built out in this video completely free, you can get it by signing up for my 30 day free trial to high level down below. If you sign up with my link, I'll also jump on two free Zoom calls with you per week, help you build your agency with high level. And I have $10,000 of resources that I'll give you absolutely free, including other snapshots and just different things that'll help you speed up the process of growing your agency. And if you've just started your agency with high level and you need some guidance, you can join my free school community down below. It's called High Level Quest. It has my new free course in it that shows you how to set up websites and software automations for service-based businesses. A lot of the same stuff that I showed in this video today. And it's just a great place to rub shoulders with other people who are building their agencies with high level. Other than that, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.